Hello there, it's Mr. Talls here. I have a very special video for you today. We're going to be looking through my old binder of when I was originally starting to collect the Pokemon cards when they first came out. So let's go ahead and flip over into the overhead view and check them out. All right, so this is my binder and it was something that was actually made for me by one of my father's co-workers when I first started collecting the cards. She put together this entire layout, um, obviously pulling images from uh, the internet, but uh, put it all together for me and gave it to me so that I would have something to keep my cards in, and I am very appreciative of her for doing that for me. So when we open it up, my first page has uh, these cards that um, were made for the television animation um, series. And on the back of some of them are a design that uh, has the Pokemon logo, but obviously I don't have all of the cards to go with it so that's something that I'm looking for so I can finish that off and then the first page uh, the big one with the uh, one card that lots of people are looking for the Charizard uh, I have this organized from Pokemon number and I uh, obviously don't have all the original cards seeing that we have a second series here War Turtle um, but until I find the first series, I'm going to keep the second series in there. But I actually have cards behind a lot of these. I'm not going to pull all of them out, but there's some dark Pokemon uh, of the uh, Charmander and Charizard and Blastoise. I will uh, pull this one out from behind here. For whatever reason, I decided to put energy cards behind all of them. And this one looks in pretty bad condition, but it is a Japanese... Uh, card and um, I just thought that was pretty cool when I found it so I wanted to include that in my binder uh, so this is the first page obviously very proud of that um, didn't really realize that that was going to be a big card um, that would be super popular um, obviously it's not a shadow list these are all I'm pretty sure shadow uh, backgrounds on uh, the cards and uh, not first editions. I think I have one first edition, but it's one that seems like everyone that collected back then has, and we'll see that when we get to it. Let's go to the next page. Just some standard cards. Got lots of different Pikachu cards. We can go ahead and flip through these. I have uh, a lot of the cards from the Pokemon movie uh, that came out obviously a promo there lieutenant surges pikachu i even have the ticket uh of when i went to see the movie another pikachu promo card and there's of course the energy that i have behind all of them a lot of these cards are originally opened by me so I have a couple of them that have been um filled in have been bought from vintage stock and ebay places like that here's one of the first missing spots i have jigglypuff but don't have the wigglytuff obviously lots of fossil and um, forest series as well as the original base set another missing spot here we have the venonet but not the venom moth And then Abra, one of my favorites. And then this is the one first edition card that I have, but it seems like just about everyone has this first edition Machamp. Um, from the videos that I've seen, they all seem to have it. Uh, this might actually be a shadowless border here, because I don't obviously see a shadow there. So I may have some scattered throughout my binder. I think, let's see if the card's coming up or if I've passed it. 
I know I got this one from a vending machine, Hunter's, uh, one of my favorites, and I had one of those vending machines that you put the quarters in the slots and you push in the lever and pull it out and it pops out a card. Um, don't know why I remember that one specifically, but it is imprinted on my memory. Some more here. Oh, there it is. This is the first ever card that I got. I got this one out of a claw machine um, attached to a thing of a piece of foam and was able to win it from the claw machine. So that was pretty cool. It will definitely be a memory I hopefully will always have. And then we got the EV Evolutions. I don't have, the, I just have the Dark Jolteon, so I need to find the um, original version of that. I do have the Flareon. And then we've got the uh, Articuno. I need to find the original Aerodactyl. Not 100% sure which series that is, but I'll have to look into that one. Also need the original Porygon, and just have Sabrina's Porygon. And then, possibly my favorite page. So I've got a couple different Mewtwo's in here. So there's the Mewtwo from the Pokemon movie that you would get. And then the, uh, another promo Mewtwo. And then I've got the Mew promo. And then I've got uh, actually two of each of these. So I've got um, an ancient Mew, but this one's been quite battered and bruised. As you can probably see, there's a crease down the middle of it. And the uh, foil on the back of the card is starting to peel up. So I have at the beginning here, actually a set of both of these in um, plastic hard cases uh, so that they're a little bit more protected. I just love the back of this card um, and I love the back of Japanese cards too. Oh, and there just happens to be another uh, promo card of Mewtwo on the back of this one. I did not realize that. So those are the original series of cards that I have. Um, I also have some of the ones that came after that. We got a, another ticket in the back here. Why is it in there? Oh, because there's another Pokemon movie promo in there. That would explain it. I know that was a quite a big deal when the movie came out. First Pokemon movie and obviously having the cards as incentive to go. Very big. And this one's going to probably have a lot of holes and isn't in necessarily the uh, correct order. Um, I love these e-reader cards. I had the um, attachment for the Game Boy Advance, I think it was, uh, that you'd plug it in swipe the card and then there'd be little bonuses that went along with that. What is going on with this? Not sure what was up with that. And then there's another type of e-reader card, that one holographic. One of my favorite holographics is back here. I've got a bunch of the unknowns. Well, not a bunch, but a decent amount. So we got C. Obviously, I had to get C for my first name. Uh, e, F, I, K, M, and T for my last name. And for Talls. So a decent amount of them. And then here's my... Probably my favorite uh, holographic, another promo card of Entei. 
this one came from a vending machine similar to a candy vending machine. It had a bunch of different types of Pokemon cards in it. And I saw this. It's probably like one of the first holo or reverse holographic cards um, before they started including one in pretty much every pack. Um, but I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. You have to have it. And finally went and got it. And then, obviously, the Dark Tyranitar is pretty cool. The Ho-Oh is awesome. Uh, this one was from the another Pokemon movie. Um, yeah, E-Reader card as well. Got a Blissey card there. And then these are all the trainer cards that came with all the packs. Uh, got the Master Ball, and there's a bunch of regular Pokeballs behind that. Um... Oh, this one came from Vintage Stock. I don't know why I bought one of these from Vintage Stock, because I'm pretty sure I have one that I regularly pulled. Maybe I thought I didn't have that one. And just some other trainer cards. And then the cool thing, I think it's this one. Um, they got the reprint of the Imposter Oaks Revenge. Uh, for the Pokemon celebrations that I started collecting. And then that is it. So that is the collection um, from when I first started collecting these cards. I know when I started doing the celebration cards and I saw that there was a reprint of this, I was like, I have to have it. I need to find it. And it wasn't very long after I started opening up celebrations that I pulled one. Now, unfortunately, it wasn't on camera, but uh, still very uh, nice to find that one, plus several others, honestly. I pulled a handful more after that, and some of those were on camera. But uh, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you uh, coming to check out my old collection. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. So that you can see more of my videos. I have uh, one coming out with the Arceus V box and I'll be recording that almost right after this. So hope you will check it out. Adios!